Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets review video. In this video, we have the Anchor Boulder LC30 flashlight. This is a small Cree flashlight that features 300 lumens, so it's gonna be very bright for its size. It's also water resistant, and the battery life is six hours. So that should last a long time if you're using it walking a dog or camping, hiking, things like that. All that for only $12 on Amazon, so check the link in the description to find that price. Let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. So I'm very excited to check out this flashlight. I have the LC40 and LC90 from Anchor, and both of those flashlights are awesome. So I wanted to get something a little bit smaller that was more manageable when walking my dog. So we'll open it up. We have some support information, see if you're happy or not. And then we have the flashlight right here, packaged in some nice bubble wrap, that's very nice. All right, the LC30, really good feeling to it. This is all metal. You have nice textured grip etched into the metal. Gives you a really nice grip on it, and then a nice little shirt clip. Now one of the downsides of this compared to the bigger, bolder flashlights is it does not have a rechargeable battery. This actually just takes three AAA batteries, and they're not included, so you have to get those to be able to use it. You just unscrew the back right here, and then the little battery holder will slide out. You put the batteries in, and then you can turn it on. All right, and I got some batteries in here. I like to use the rechargeable batteries if I can. It's got a really nice arrow on it, so it makes it easy to see how to put it back in the flashlight. And then you just screw this on. As you can see, it does have a rubber gasket on it. This is a water-resistant flashlight, IPX5, so you can get water on it, definitely in the rain, or maybe some splashing on it, but it will not be able to be submerged for very long. All right, so now that we have this in there, looking at the back of the flashlight, we have the button. And as you can see, nice little rubber button with some good grip on it. And when I hit it to turn it on, you get some noise out of it so you know if it's turned on. It does require some force and I like that because if you have this in your pocket or your backpack, the chances of this button being randomly hit are a little bit lower. And there's also a little bit of a guard over the button to prevent it from just hitting if it hits the back of the flashlight. So that's really nice as well. Now this does have three different modes. We'll get into that a little bit later. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. Moving up to the center of the flashlight right here, like I said, there are really nice grips that go all the way around. So you can get a really nice firm grip on it. And then you have this shirt clip. And this does not come off. You cannot take this off, which is great because you don't have to worry about it coming undone from the flashlight. As you can see, there's a hook there if you wanted to put like maybe some rope or something and then tie it to a carabiner or your backpack, make it easier to find, maybe a dog leash. And then looking at the front, we have the flashlight with the one single Cree LED in there. And then you have this nice little lip coming over the lens. And that's nice because if you have the flashlight on and you put it down on its lens, you could still see that it on. So you won't drain the battery or anything like that. It also makes it kind of nice because it's nice metal. So if you had to, you could almost use it as a weapon if you had to, though I don't recommend that. First impressions, it's a very nice lightweight flashlight with a very good build quality, all metal, all around it. Nice protection over the lens and the button. And then this clip seems to be very secure. So now we've taken a closer look at the design and build of the LC30. Let's go ahead and talk about the different modes and turn it on. So you simply turn it on like this. This is gonna be the high mode. Now if I quickly turn it off and on, it'll cycle to the next mode, which is gonna be low. And then one more time is strobe. So now you can see strobe right here. And they have that illustrated on the actual box here. So pretty easy to see, very easy to use, and then cycle through the different programs. Now if you're seeing any of that weird flashing right there, that is not what this actually looks like. That's just the camera picking up that weird look. So those were the three different modes. Now let's do some testing outside and also compare it to the LC40 and LC90 so you can kind of see how the beam of this flashlight compares to other anchor flashlights. Hey guys, I am outside in my backyard now and I'm gonna do first show you the different modes at night of the LC30. Then I will show you the LC30 compared to the LC90 and the LC40. So first let's turn on the LC30 here. So this is high mode right here. And as you can see, I can move it around. You can see the landscape and even up into the trees, stuff like that. Now, if I turn on and off the flashlight real quick, it'll turn on to light mode, which is the lowest mode that it has. And then if I do it one more time, it'll do the rapid flashing, which is just the high mode flashing. This can be very useful if you're on the side of the road or trying to get someone's attention, something like that in an emergency situation. So now I have it back on high mode. 
and I have the LC40 here. So I'll turn the LC40 on, you can see the difference in the beam. So right there, the LC40 being much brighter, and the beam also goes a lot further. So you have the LC30 and then the LC40. With the LC30 on the left side, I will turn on the LC90 right here. So as you can see, the beam is focusable, so I can change the beam, and it can get very wide, bright, so it lights up an entire backyard, or you can even focus the beam to have the very focused beam like the LC30 and LC40 have. So a much brighter flashlight and much wider range as well. Again, this is the LC30, and then LC90, LC90 focused right there. All right, so that was a quick demonstration of the capabilities of the LC30, LC40, and then LC90 right here. I wanted to quickly show you the size differences here. As you can see, the LC30 is significantly smaller than the LC90 and the LC40 as well. One quick thing I wanted to point out is the construction and also the black paint on the outside of these flashlights are all very similar. I've been using the LC90 for over two years, uh, camping, all kinds of different things, and as you can see, it's got a little bit of wear and tear on it, but nothing bad. It's really held up great, and I expect the LC30 to do the same. Overall, I really am impressed with the LC30 for a low price of around $13. You get a very high quality, well-built flashlight made out of complete metal, nice grips on it, nice clip for your pocket as well. The button works well and you get three different modes that you can cycle through very quickly if you need to. Now, as you saw before, this does use three AAAs. And for me, that's a little bit of a downside just because I like to have a rechargeable battery. I don't wanna to have to bring extra batteries with me. I'd rather just be able to charge it. Another downside I found a flashlight that use AAA batteries is as the batteries drain, the light actually will dim. So with these rechargeable flashlights, I haven't really noticed that. They may get a little weaker, but nothing compared to flashlights like this. So that is a downside of this. As it drains, as the batteries die, the beam will die as well. But it's very easy to quickly replace them and then you will have a fully charged, very bright flashlight. All right, so that was the Anchor Boulder LC30 flashlight. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm going to add an Amazon affiliate link so you can find this exact flashlight on Amazon. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.